What's up? In this video, we will go over everything Genius Annotators miss from Kendrick's new album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. When I started this series, the annotations looked like this, and now they look like this. So this video will definitely be more focused. You know the rules, no baby boy to punch lines. We're talking these. Without further ado, mm, this the type of shit we glorify. Everybody gang gang. Those are people that you grew up with, like in the chain gang. Towards the second verse, Kodak says, That's on gang, that's on Ma Dukes. That's on gang being common slang to emphasize that he's telling the truth. If you don't know who Ma Dukes is, though, I'll tell you. Come here close. But seriously, Maureen Ma Dukes Yancey is the mother of late Detroit producer and rapper Jay Dilla. In late 2016, Miss Yancey made a children's biography for her son in order to carry on his legacy. But Ma Dukes can be used to refer to one's own mother as Kodak is using it in the song. It's not the only thing that Kodak has put on his mom though. Hey, look, hey, look, look. Bitch, I'm attractive. Can't fuck with you no more. I'm fasting. Ugh. In verse 2, Kendrick raps, I would never live my life on a computer. IG will get you live for a chick of booyah. Possible shout out to Web3 and the trend towards virtual living, but more probably a reference towards social media as IG is seen in the second line. The annotator correctly points out the double entendre of chick of booyah, meaning shot, both from a camera and a gun. However, it doesn't address that Kendrick could mean both at the same time. Both the shot from the gun and the shot from the camera are responsible for their life sentence. In the beginning of verse 3, Kendrick raps, We just up the score, give me dap, brother. Spirit medium, I don't rap, brother. Up the score, give me dap could be a reference to a wide variety of sports, but most probably is a reference to basketball and how players dap each other up or have special handshakes after scoring. The annotators missed it, wanted to throw in a freebie. Spirit medium, I don't rap, brother, again promotes the idea that Kendrick is being spoken through rather than speaking himself. As seen in N95 with Ask God to Speak Through Me, What You're Hearing Now is the Voice of Yours Truly, and in Purple Hearts with If God Be the Source, Then I Am the Plug Talking. I didn't actually catch this next one, so credit to these two annotators, Vish Sharma and Will McGinnis. The New Earth in Hot Pursuit, 200 Lives. The New Earth is a reference to the book written by Eckhart Tolle who Whitney says Kendrick needs to see during the opening of Father Time, and who acts as the therapist figure to Kendrick throughout the album. Tall's New Earth teaching refers to an existence where we all operate at a higher level of consciousness and are more joyful, humble, and compassionate. According to Tall, the book's purpose is not to add new information or beliefs to your mind, or to try to convince you of anything, but to bring about a shift in consciousness. Kendrick states that he has been pursuing this new earth for 200 lives, another reference to reincarnation. This is what the world sounds like. Uh, we're good, right? We don't need to, we can just, cool. Keep me torn and I'm well walking. Rolling sevens, I ain't ready for no call. At the beginning of Ghostface Killer's verse, he says, Dreams, visions get blurry of the Elohim, light, it's known to tear retinas in a single gleam. We can assume that Ghostface is talking about a Judaism-based religion due to the use of the Hebrew word Elohim. This would allow us to better interpret the next line as Paul, formerly Saul in the Christian Bible, is blinded whenever he sees God. But just shortly after this, typical the Wu-Tang era bars, the supreme alphabet is referenced, with G being God, O being cipher, and D being divine. The supreme alphabet was used by the 5% nation. Look into it more if you want to learn more. It's really interesting, but I'm not your history teacher, you lazy piece. Nobody but the mirror looking for the fall off. I love when you count me out. I'm going to say it, okay? Count Me Out might be the worst song on the album. And I'm not saying it's bad, but it's just not that good. It seems like he was going for a pop vibe here and it just it just doesn't work for me. One of these lives, I'm gonna make things right with the wrongs I've done. That's when I unite with the father son till then I fight. Kendrick repeats his mixing of beliefs from different religions, 
at first referencing reincarnation again, and then shortly after referencing the father-son, a staple of Christianity. Very similar to Ghostface's lines I discussed just a second ago. Okay, so some of the genius editors are cracked. Most of them suck. I probably wouldn't have caught this one. Shout out Genius Annotator Firebow19. I wanted to mention it because it's sick. Towards the end of the song, Kendrick says, Miss Regrets, I believe that you done me wrong. Miss Regrets, can you please exit out my home? Miss Otis Regrets is a song composed by Cole Porter in 1934. The song tells the story about a young woman who finds out that her lover is being unfaithful and proceeds to gun him down. She is then jailed, taken from jail by the mob, and lynched. Yeah, lynched. Miss Otis is an aristocratic white woman and the song was a reversal of gender and racial norms of the time period in order to convey an anti-lynching narrative. Nobody but the mirror waiting for the fall off. In 2019, J. Cole announced the album The Fall Off, or at least most people thought it was an album, at Days in Vegas. I was there and it was really sick, but besides that, this line could be a double entendre meaning that only Kendrick himself is waiting for the fall off, just like what is symbolized later in the album with the song Mirror. Or it could possibly be a subliminal at J. Cole that went really unnoticed, but you didn't hear it from me. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, to who is given, much is required now. The bridge references both Shakespeare and the Bible. Uneasy is the head that wears the crown is a line from William Shakespeare's Henry IV, and the second line is a reference to Luke 12, 48. That's all I have for this song, and I know what you're thinking, right? You're thinking, that's all he has? Could he not figure out more? Could he not look deeper and, and find more to talk about? And to you, you know what I say? Do you like pudding? You like pudding? I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, I do. Pudding D's no. Pushing the snakes, I'm pushing the fakes, I'm pushing them all on me like. First, we have to address the song name. Silent Hill is a horror game series that was pumping out games like crazy from the 90s to the early 2000s, just like this guy pumps weird stuff out of his stomach. <laughs> These games are suspenseful and focus on feelings of psychological and environmental horror rather than jump scares. <laughs> this makes Kendrick's lines at the beginning of the song make more sense. And also, maybe Kendrick is a Silent Hill fan. Why oh why oh why oh why you keep f***ing with me? You gon' make me jump out my skin, believe me. The thought of being messed with by the cult active in the game is one of the main elements of horror throughout them along with Jump Out My Skin being a reference to being very scared. In Kendrick's first first, we hear the line, Peekaboo can't hide behind your money dog. And then shortly after, we get a Kodak verse that is almost entirely flexing money and material things. So, let me take you to class for a second. Welcome to today's learning lesson with Thinker. Today's lesson, every material thing Kodak mentions in his 26th line. Rolls-Royce convertible, AP watch, suicide coupe, aka a Bentley coupe with suicide doors, a trackhawk that looks like a slingshot, a big ol' ruby diamond on my pinky finger that look like a ring pop, money on his mind, money on your head, Chevrolet with candy paint, a Mercedes Benz, tinted windows, another Bentley coupe, we're almost there, stick with me, money stacking, awkward diamonds that look like marbles, and another reference to AP. This concludes today's segment of Every Material Thing Kodak Mentions in His 26 Lines. There are literally two lines where Kodak references his kids in between all of that. That feels very intentional given the theme of the album and money not equating to love or happiness. In Kodak's verse, he says, the AP Roman numeral, everywhere I go, I need pharmaceuticals. And again references AP at the end of his verse. This is a callback to Kendrick's verse on Rich Spirit, where he says, AP Michael Friedman, my friend's cooler. Michael Friedman being a department head at AP Watches. That's all for this video. If you're still watching, thank you so much. My voice sounds weird. It's because I actually had to record twice because I use my PC microphone instead of my good audio microphone. So sorry if it's a little raspy. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. I will see you again hopefully next Monday with a part three 
finish out the album and then I have a banger video coming. It might take me a while because I gotta interview people. It's gonna take a long time to edit, but it's coming. Thank you for watching. Soil.